so in today's lecture of linear algebra that is lecture 33 i will be giving you all the definition of radical ideals and semi simple then simple and some remark uh, and along with these two lemmas let l be the finite dimensional linear algebra there is a unique uh, solvable ideal of l containing every solvable ideal of l and second is if l is linear algebra then the factor algebra l by rad l is semi simple so let me start with the definition first uh definition of radical ideal and semi simple now definition of radical ideal is what largest solvable ideal of l is called radical ideal and is denoted by red l is equal to r in the bracket then definition of semi simple is what let l be a non zero lie algebra then l is said to be semi simple if it has no non zero solvable ideal that is red of l is equal to zero next let me prove that uh, one of the lemma so let l be a finite be a finite dimensionally algebra then there is a unique solvable ideal of l containing every solvable ideal of l the proof starts like this let r be a solvable ideal of the largest possible dimension okay suppose that i is any solvable ideal what is going to happen you'll have to show that i is a subset of r okay so we need to show here i is a subset of r so that what we need to do now this implies what i plus r is solvable ideal okay and now this implies that r is a subset of i plus r now what is my r over here it is the solvable ideal of largest possible dimension now this is a subset of i plus r which is equal to set of i plus r where i belongs to i small i belongs to capital i and small r belongs to capital r okay now this is equal to uh, now this implies what dimension of this r is less than or equal to dimension of i plus r okay so here i have said that r is a subset of i plus r right so suppose if i uh, we have learned in the okay so w is is a subset of v now how we do this dimension of w is less than or equal to dimension of v okay and then dimension of w is equal to dimension of v right at this way we have to so now this step okay now this is nothing but i plus r where i belongs to this i have already told you the dimension of r this and is less than or equal to dimension of this v i plus r it is now this is this implies what dimension of r is equal to dimension of i plus r like this way we have written okay now it is what it is nothing but it's like and we forget about this uh so this is nothing but r is the largest possible value and this implies nothing but this r is equal to i plus r and this implies nothing but i is a subset of r because here we were supposed to show that i is a subset of r and i was what i was a solvable ideal and r was the solvable ideal of the largest possible dimension so we prove that i is a subset of r with this we are done with this uh, with this exercise problem next we will be looking so second one is what if l is lie algebra then the factor algebra l by red l is semi simple now you all know the definition of a semi simple right yes let l be on uh, semi simple okay let l be a non zero lie algebra then l is said to be semi simple if it has no non zero solvable ideal that is red of l is equal to zero Now the proof starts like this. Let J uh, J bar be solvable ideal of L by red L. Next is by ideal correspondence there exists an ideal J of L containing red L such that J bar is equal to J upon J upon red L. Now since J and red L is solvable, now this is solvable and my red L is also solvable. So this implies J is solvable ideal of L. Now, therefore, I can say that J is a subset of red L, which implies J bar is equal to J upon red L. This part it is okay. J is equal to J bar is equal to J upon red L. This I have written it over here. Now, this is a subset of nothing but red L. 
Now this j bar is equal to zero because red L will be zero, right? So next report definition of a simple. The Lie algebra is simple if it has no if it has no zero sorry no idols other than zero and L and it is not abelian. Next is the remark. First is what every semi-simple Lie algebra is a direct sum of simple Lie algebras. Second is what the restriction that is a, that a simple Lie algebra may not be abelian removes only the one-dimensional abelian Lie algebra. And with this, I am done with today's lecture. You all can note down this remark, then the definition of uh, simple, semi-simple, everything. And I hope you all have understood. If you have not understood any of the concept of today's lecture, you all can comment below. And thanks for watching.